Rachel. Is that on? Oh, what? What are you wearing? I, every single time I come in here, something is ripped out of the kitchen. I have to put in the new microwave and it's bulk pickup. So I wanted to get the old microwave onto the pile. What are you wearing? Well, I'm a pirate mom and a hook is going to be completely useless for a pirate mom. So I'm going to like attach a spatula. What do you mean you're a pirate mom? You know, like, arg. Like, see, pirate mom, and I got an eye patch, and, but I thought a, a hook, a pirate mom wouldn't use that. A pirate mom would use a spatula. Something is seriously wrong with you. I'm serving you up something, me maybes. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time Joe walks the plank, you'll be alerted to it. So the other day, I was watching Nisha Berry's Coffee and Chat, and she's like, Rachel, she's got style. I You've got love something. Her so much. <laughs> she lets me be me. That is what a true friend is. A true friend loves you right where you're at. I don't know if it's style, but you've definitely got something. Can I, got, I have a couple of those, There's please? something. <laughs> I, you know, I am going to be really thankful for two eyes. I've been trying to do things this morning. Not easy. Not easy not looking out. I keep, I keep trying to not do this because, like, I'm trying to be authentic, but crazy. So, uh -huh. it is Monday morning. It is. It is day 23 of the beef butter bacon and egg challenge and uh we're gonna start off the morning with three of the four food groups right so we've got some bacon uh-huh cooked on the outside blackstone then we've got some eggs that were cooked in butter with redmond of course and uh that was cooked on the indoor blackstone and then i've got three pounds of ground beef back there defrosting. Mm. That'll be the fourth food group for later on today. There's a, there's a hair in my mouth. All the food groups. I'm shedding. Where did you get a hair in your mouth? Are you well, shedding I just your brushed, hair? I just brushed my hair. Oh, okay. So yeah, Monday morning, um, a lot to do, but not a lot to do. Like don't have to cut today, but we got to get ready for going to Vegas. We need food for chickens and dogs and I need food parrots and for the chickens. Hippopotamuses. The dog. We need um, some of the pine shavings for the chicken's coop because it hasn't been cleaned in two weeks because no more pine shavings. Right. Um, I got to edit a couple of videos, get things ready for leaving. We're about to do Keto on the Couch live. We are. I'm excited we're, about that. We're fueling up. I know some people don't like it live, but sometimes it just, it's, I love doing lives because no editing. Well. But you always run the risk of like the internet going out. This is, this is, for anybody who doesn't like it, this is a be mad at Rachel thing because I just wanted Joe to get some rest. Well, thank you. I just wanted you to get just a little, just an evening off. Now, one thing about doing Keto on the Couch Live as opposed to our other lives when we do Keto on the Couch Live, we pretty much just go through mm -hmm. like our normal Keto on the Couch and then address comments later right. unless we get a super chat or something like pops up on the screen. So if you don't like Keto on the Couch Live, we apologize, but we do try to keep it to more of a normal Keto on the Couch right. until the very end. Because Keto on the Couch, if you're new to our channel, is all about subscribers. We came up with the idea of doing it because we wanted to celebrate your wins, your successes, talk about your struggles, maybe give you a little bit of information, tell you a little bit about our week that's going on, which there's not much to do right now because you're getting vlogs every single day. Right. So it's more about subscribers. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. And so that's why we like to kind of keep it that way when we do it live. It's just the only reason we're doing it live is no time to edit an hour long video, which a one hour video is no kidding about eight to 10 hours of work between editing the video, filming the video, you know, going through everything, screening it. Screening it. it. It's a six to eight hour process. 
A lot of people don't understand like, oh, 10 minute video, no problem. Well, that 10 minute video reflects like two hours worth of work. Right. So so we're going to finish eating because if I don't have everything set up properly for keto on the couch. He's he's going to be. I am going to be walking the you plank. You are absolutely going to be walking the plank. That was such a good keto on the couch. I've got, now I have pirate patch face. <laughs> That was Look so that. good. I know we went an hour and a half, but I have so much fun. Like I, I know that um, we're probably like smoother looking if we tape it ahead of time because we we are clunky live. Um, but I just have so much fun because just the energy in the chat and and just knowing you're sharing the morning with friends is just it's so incredible. Okay, kid on the couch is done. So we need to go up to tractor supply, but before we do, I don't want to lose my helper. We're going to go ahead and install the microwave. Do you want the, uh, as you rip off the plastic? No, I think you should. If you don't do it, I'm going to do it. I think th I got to install it. I think you should get the, you got to make the noise. Uh, oh, yeah. You know me, I would leave it on. You only get this once. Look at this. I remember when microwaves were like 200 bucks. Yeah, this, that is not the case anymore. I mean, we did get $300 off of this one, Which is but the fact that you're getting a microwave $300, $300 off, off when is... When a microwave used to be $300. Yeah. Oh wait, best the best eye ah, yet, yeah. right off the control panel. You got, I gotta see the, I gotta see the... The expression? Yeah. I've got pirate patch still, so sorry. Oh. Oh, you don't do it good. Oh wait, you got the control oh. panel. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Oh yeah, do the control panel for me so we see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, yeah, this is separate. You gotta do it like this. Your turn. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh. New. Okay, let's see. It's okay, official. It's, it's official, it's ours. And of course you have all the racks that you never use. Like who actually uses the inside rack? A two tier system in a microwave. Are you ready? I'm always waiting on you. Yeah, Always right. waiting for you. Are you yeah. ready? I am totally ready. So we are gonna head out to Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. Chicken food, dog food, chicken shavings, and maybe more chickens. No. You want a meat stick? <laughs> Wait, what? You want a meat stick? I always would like a meat stick. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into. I always find things that I want to buy in this store. There's so much fun stuff at Tractor Supply. Look at those dark clouds behind us. I know. We're about to have like a South Florida summer rain. What are you doing? They just have the funnest decor with that. I love all these vintage signs. So cute. <sighs> Smells like autumn. My problem with some of these different types of smells, like there's one there, it's like caramel sugar cookie. Yeah. That could actually trigger me to want to eat sugar cookies. Yeah, the maple syrup and pancakes one, I was like, it smells really good, but I don't think I could have it burning in the house. <laughs> Where are you? Right here. Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. So uh, our grand puppy, Jenny. This isn't for our grand puppy. Got one of these. Oh, and Michelle and John were super excited when the squeaker died in this thing because she could still play with it, but no more squeaker because this <laughs> squeaker sounds very inappropriate. Tabitha's going to love it. She's going to love it. And chances are the squeaker will outlast the rest of the toy. I'm so glad 
that we clean out our car so that it can smell like a barnyard back there. <coughs> and sound like one. <coughs> This is, this is how you're going to handle every argument from now on, isn't it? <laughs> Tabitha. <laughs> Here you go. You want it? She's like, that does not sound right. She's like, I think you bought food. You Did smell, you buy me food? You smell like food. Where is the food? Where is the food? Where's your toy? Where's your baby? Where's the baby? Throw it and see if she goes after it. Yeah. Sit. She's like, um, oh, wait, maybe? No? Okay. She's like, that looks a lot like Jenny's toy. <sighs> Only Jenny's is like, like a blue color. She's like, I don't want to touch another dog's toy. That's not nice. I play with their toys. But this is your toy. Yeah. Lunch time. I am ready for some lunch. So now before you say anything about the eggs I'm and some salt, them. they're actually more cooked than I want them to be. I wanted them to be very runny because of the over. burger so that you can have like a sauce. Now I'm curious what you think because this is a concoction that I just came up with as I was cooking. Aww. So I took five pounds of ground beef out of the freezer. That's a good start. Uh, defrost it all. We have half over there that I'm gonna make some burgers out of. Mm. The other half I threw in here. This is not two and a half pounds of ground beef. Uh, there's still some left that we want to eat later. Mm -hmm. um, but a pound of ground beef is right around a thousand calories if you're curious about it calorically. Yeah. Um, this is, we each have 10 ounces or 10 to 11 ounces like on our plate, but it is ground beef with a half a pound of bacon that was chopped up and cooked, everything on the Blackstone, a mm. bunch of the Redmond organic, this stuff, the Redmond organic garlic pepper in there. And then I took a whole bunch of mustard and I squirted it around on the really? inside and then cooked it with the mustard in the ground beef. I taste flavor central but I could not have told you that that's what you did to it. That is so amazing. What do you think? It tastes delicious, but again, I, I mean, it's just very moist. Mm-hmm. But I, I could not have told you that's, like, I couldn't have pinpointed it. And then what I did was, as I was scooping it up, any of, like, the grease from the burger that tried to go down the grease trap, I kept putting it back, and it's all mixed in here. So it's nice and greasy. It's very flavorful. Flavorful. We try to keep all the flavor. But, again, Redmond Organic Garlic Black Pepper, and then the bacon, and then you put all the bacon grease into it, and then the, wow. with that mustard, and... Delicious. Mmm. This is really, really good. We like that. Simple, but not simple. Right. Simple and elegant. I love ground beef. We don't eat ground beef enough. Mm -mm. So I just got off the phone with the lady from the ranch for the Speaking cow. Speaking of beef. And uh, if you are in Florida and you're looking for a place, don't order until I get my order in. Um, very nice lady, mm -hmm. uh, husband and wife. And uh, they're located over in the Bradenton area. The name of their ranch, we are not affiliated. We don't make any money off of them. I found them on the internet mm -hmm. through uh, Eat Wild, which is a website that has all local ranchers. And you can pick wherever you are in the country. Check it out. I'll leave a link for it down below. And so they have all the local ranchers and links. So if they have a website, their website, their phone numbers and everything like that. That's how I found them. And um, so it's called the Dam Ranch. I'll leave a link down below. We're going to eat a damn cow. So we're paying $5.50 a pound for the cow. Hanging weight. Okay. Um, so on, you know, she said on average, we're looking at about a 500 pound hanging weight and, uh, that includes everything that's butcher cost, everything end up with somewhere around 300 pounds or so of meat. That is crazy. So I don't think it's that bad. Mm -mm. That it's cheaper than most of the other places in Florida. It's grass fed, grass finished. Again, I wish it was grain finished, but can't find anybody in Florida that has grain finished. At least I can't find anybody who has like organic, you know, soy free kind of grain finish. I don't want, I wouldn't want GMO kind of stuff. So no. we're gonna go grass fed, grass finish, no hormones, all of that stuff. What I'm excited about this is, this is the first cow that we're purchasing. Or buying so a I, whole cow. Well, I feel like um, 
a lot of people may have never have done this before either. Right. You know what I mean? Like this would be a completely new experience. For some people, this is how they always get their meat, mm -hmm. right? But if you're city folk like us, this will be a first. So I'm very interested to go through this process and show what it's like. Is it easy? You know, when you're packing it, what it, what does the meat taste like when it's right. fresh like right. this? Because for some people, you know, they're like us and this would be the first time they're doing it. Now, normally they don't give you really a choice in your cuts. She said they do it because they're like a co-op. And so they usually have a, spur, a certain type of like cut that they break it all up, all the steaks coming in one pound packet or one steak packages and all the ground beef coming in one pound packages. But because we're buying the whole cow, right? she said she can, she'll put us in contact with the butcher and we can tell the butcher, I want this much of this and this much of this and this much of this. And uh, we can have all the offal. So we can have all the liver and stuff because that's, we're getting the whole cow. That's awful. But I'm excited about it because, Me too. you know, we get to support a local farmer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm really happy about. The fact that we can support a local farmer. It is a big investment for us. You're looking at about $2,500 butchered and everything huge investment for, for the us. whole cow. But at least, again, supporting a local farmer, we're, we're not having to worry about any of the beef prices going up. And, you know, you're paying, probably in the end, you're going to pay about $7.50 a pound for your meat. I feel like, like that's your freezer meat. Like what you get to put in the freezer, we're going to pay about seven fifty. But that's seven fifty a pound for ground beef, but seven fifty a pound for, you know, ribeye right. and brisket and, you know, T-bones. So you're just, it's a seven fifty across the board. I feel like this is an opportunity to put our money where our mouth is because we say we want to support local. Mm -hmm. We say we want to, you know provide and, and help the, the local farmer. So this is an opportunity to actually do it. Yeah, now I did ask her about coming up there and uh, filming at the ranch. And uh, she said, unfortunately, the insurance companies consider them because they are grass fed, grass finished, uh, they are basically considered wild animals. And therefore the insurance doesn't wow. let people to go onto the ranch. But I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really excited about it. So we're looking at like six to eight weeks to get our, our cow. Wow. Um, after we're done with this, I need to go to the post office. We get some orders or you can go to the post office. They need to be dropped off. Yeah. And then what are we doing for the rest of the evening? Not a clue. I mean, working. <laughs> we have to finish up the vlog. And are, you, are you, are you all packed for Vegas? No. I still have a lot of packing to do. I'm trying to figure out like what to wear. It's, it seems like in that area, it's like it's super. It's not Florida. No, but it's like super hot during the day, cold at night. So you kind of have to prepare layers. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely, you know, new. And don't forget, when we're done with the Vegas trip, we're going camping. So we need to throw a few camping clothes in there. Yeah, but you can't overpack. You got to remember that part too. Um, it's a fine line. I, I'm really excited about the whole Vegas trip. I wanted to say something before we, we stop for now. I noticed one in the comments. They asked, because when I put the salt on our eggs this morning mm -hmm. or yesterday... They said, is that all the salt you use? We add salt when we cook them. I learned that uh, from Steve at Keto Chow. Because I was like, that man could be a short order cook. He is so he awesome. He makes the best tasting eggs. He does. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I just add a bunch of salt when I'm cooking them. Right. So I started putting the butter on the Blackstone and then dropping it right on top of the, the pat of butter. But before I even put the egg down, so I have the pat of butter, it's melting. I put a little, red, a little bit of Redmond on the butter. Then I drop the egg on top of it, and then I put a little bit more salt on there, and then one turn of the pepper from the pepper mill, and, that and then we it salt up. more when we get it. So I love it. Yeah, we put a lot of salt on because we love salt. The longer you're doing keto, the more you're gonna crave salt. It's you're just true. gonna be like things that people are gonna say is way too salty. You're gonna be like needs more salt. Same thing with sweetness. Like you're gonna you're gonna think this is overly sweet. I can't tell you how many people say Zevia is extremely sweet. Right. But if you give it to somebody who's not keto, they're They'll gonna tell like, you, like, where's the sugar? Right. So uh, we're gonna finish eating. We'll check in with you guys later on. You called. Well, I was just. Going what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out what to bring on this trip. Certainly um, not that shirt. But here's the thing. Look, this is my old. District 10 Little League shirt, and I you were stuffed in that was thing. Was stuffed in this thing, 
and I, you forget, right? I saved one shirt to remind me of, of what it used to be. And yeah, I mean, I wish was, we had a picture of you stuffed in that shirt. It was tight at this level. I mean, it, in the sleeves, everything. It's just like, sometimes we don't take time to think about where we've come from. I think, oh, okay, well, I can't celebrate that anymore. Like, this was my uniform shirt. Wow. I just got a really awesome text from my daughter, Michelle. Um, she says, people say all the time, I die for my children. Okay, but would you live for them? Actually live. Make better choices, try practicing sobriety, take better care of yourself physically and mentally. Your kids don't need you to die for them, they need you to live. And she says, thank you for living for us. Wow. When you talk about like, what is your why and does anybody notice? Like, your kids, your kids notice and wow. That hit me in all the feels today. Wow, I was gonna say, but now I'm crying. Um, I'm looking at filming you there and I think it's time to clean my office. There's Slightly. like a lot of stuff just thrown on all the shelves up there. It's terrible. But yeah, that that really hits you hard. We don't have little kids for toys. I'm not sure what I think of this. Little Tykes has come out with a stationary bicycle. Let's brainwash our kids for that <laughs> the only way to lose weight is to exercise cardio. Well, I mean, I'm fine with them doing that, but I like maybe go outside and ride your Mm -hmm. not stationary bicycle i don't know i mean but there's you can cycle along to some adventure videos on there so they probably would it's probably better than any kid playing video games yeah all the time. i mean if they're gonna do it if they're gonna play games anyway get you know get moving i know that we purchased the we fit years ago because we were going to exercise our indoor children and they honestly didn't get we liked it i mean we enjoyed playing with it it was good for a family game night but i don't think that it did as much fitness for them wise as we thought it would do <laughs> when we purchased it there's really no substitute for just getting out and exploring hiking right riding your bike and all that kind of stuff that's what we need to do we need to get out and find a mountain to hike oh wait the only mountain in south florida is a garbage dump if you're Let's on go a back mountain, to Utah. If you're on a mountain in Florida, you, you check your surroundings. <laughs> okay, um, it's late. Yeah, it's like ten o'clock. We keep saying we're going to end our no, it's days. It's like eleven. It's at like almost 8 eleven. Oh my gosh! But we had a bunch of stuff to do. Rachel just finished premiering yesterday's vlog. Um, I've got to edit today's vlog. Tomorrow's a really busy day because we got to cut the church. Um, I completely forgot that I have a game at 4.30. So I scheduled cutting the church on the same day as the game. So it's gonna go like one into the other. We're supposed to make beef ribs for dinner. So I'm Yum. really excited about beef ribs for Me dinner. Me too, I can't ribs. believe that it's taken 20 plus days for us to get to the yeah. beef rib day. And then we have uh, the Zoom call with Bronson, Yay. which uh, bad news, I probably will not get home in time. So I'm gonna be in there. You're gonna have to get in there, but you have to log in on not your personal account, but, oh, but on, on the yours. Two Crazy Ketos account. You show me. Because uh, he is supposed to be a host, but just in case something goes wrong, I want you in there so he can get in there as well. Well, I want to get in there because I want to hear what he has to say and I want to learn. Yeah, so that is going to be, this video will have already will not be out yet probably by the time that Zoom happens. Uh, but yeah, monthly Patreons as well as the higher tiers for our channel members get access to that Zoom every month. It's the first, the second Tuesday of every month. This is the very first Zoom that we're Bronson. doing with Bronson. And I'm so excited because fitness is a part of it. Mm -hmm. And for so many years, fitness was not a part of our lives at all. And I almost consoled myself with like, well, it's good to be on keto because there's no exercise required. Right. I actually celebrated the fact that I could lose weight and not move. Right. And now I feel, I don't know, embarrassed that I felt that way, that I was so opposed to movement. What do you think the old Rachel would say about that? Because I remember telling you, like, we need yeah. to do more than just walk. And you're like, no, I don't. Walking's good enough. What do you think? What would the old Rachel say to the new Rachel? Well, the old Rachel would probably be tough, but the new Rachel is going to have grace for old Rachel because 
I know better now. So I'm right. going to do when better. When you know better, you do better. I'm going to do better. And I do see fitness as a privilege now. I see movement as an opportunity more and more. And, and I want to maintain my mobility for as long as possible. And I want to get better. Right. So I, I'm getting stronger. I love it. And I enjoy it. I feel very accomplished whenever I work out. Okay. Um, we're having a little bit of dinner right before we go to bed. But we're probably going to go to bed for at least another hour. A little bit more of that ground beef that we had from lunch. We still have some more left. And then we're just finishing up the roast beef from the other day. We trying had, to clear out everything. We had one boiled egg in the back. I was like, oh, we didn't We're going to use that one up. Yep. So that's going to be the end of today's vlog. Let us know down in the comment section, how are you doing on BBBE? Did you start it? In when did you start it? Are you having any struggles with anything if you're not doing it? If you are doing it. And if you're not doing it, that's okay too. That is too. totally okay. This is definitely not something mandatory. When we decided that we were going to do this, when we were challenged by Dr. Barry, we didn't think anybody was going to join us. No. We were just like, hey, we're doing this because Dr. Barry challenged us. If you want to do it, great. We did not expect the amount of people that are doing it to do it. We're glad. We hope you guys see some tremendous benefit. I know we are enjoying the reset. We're seeing some really big progress in our clothes and how we feel, but more importantly on the mental side, which yeah. is which is the part that's most important to me is, is the whole mental side of eating that the, I'm realizing we struggled with. The battlefield is definitely going on up here, but if you are new to our channel and you don't know us that well, let me just say, we believe in doing keto your way. That's we right. are never going to police your journey and we celebrate every single win. Yeah. We're going to tell you the way that we think is optimum. Yeah. From talking to Dr. Barry and talking to Dr. Cywis and researching things. And, you know, I mean, Chris at Keto Chow, he is a wealth of knowledge when yes. it comes to this kind of stuff. So we're going to tell you what we think is the best approach. But you know what? When we got started, I mean, we had some dirty keto. Yeah. <laughs> and well, it's, I don't it's like a that journey. word. journey. I know we don't like that word, but people use it. But it's a journey. And the more you do this, the longer you do it, the more you start going, I want to tweak this and I want to tweak that. Yeah. And it's that's why you make it yours and then you change it the way you want. To me, the most important aspect of eating a keto, carnivore, proper human diet way of eating is... You have to do what is sustainable for you. That's right. I mean, people keep saying, why don't you just keep eating this forever? You know, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Because for me, that's not sustainable. It's not sustainable to never eat chicken again. It's not sustainable for me to never eat cheese. And if I try to make it that way, I'm going to fall on my face and just fail completely because... I'm going to always be like, I really want that stuff. And that's all carnivore. So for me, sustainability is eating probably 90% of this way and having some keto chow and having some chicken and having some jalapeno poppers. That's right. And occasionally having like a keto bar. Some other people, sustainability means they want to be able to eat some other keto treats that have more mug cakes or something. It's whatever works for you. And that's the most important thing. And it's the most important thing to us as well. It's more important for us to stick what is to stick to what is sustainable for you than for you to be like, if I don't fit in the community, then I'm just going to go back to my old way of eating. Right. That it, that does not work for me. If we you're love eating 50% you. better than you were before, that's amazing. You're on the right track. Yes. Yeah. So that's going to be the end of today's video. If not, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. In my beef. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.